Hey folks, it's Greg and Jan with Strange RV Tours. And today we're in Winona, Texas, which is a small East Texas town of only 623 people. Now, Winona, Texas, this is their Winona Youth Baseball Association Fields, is a very small town. It's located between Tyler and Big Sandy, Texas, off of 155, Highway 155. And the reason that we're out here is these baseball fields are attached to an elementary school that burned in 2014. We're going to show you the remains of the elementary school and show you a little bit of the town. We drive through Winona, going out to our house all the time, but never stopped to really see what is going on in Winona. And apparently, not a whole lot. <laughs> but Winona kind of got its name because it's it's on the edge of Smith County and Smith County was a dry county and when they decided to allow a few places in Smith County to sell alcohol Winona was one of the towns that signed up and they were actually the first town and so when you when we take you through the main strip of Winona, you'll see a lot of beer and alcohol stores. And it became known as either Beer Town or Drunk Town because this, if you lived in Tyler, Texas, this is where you'd have to drive out, the closest place where you could actually buy alcohol. You can get beer and wine in Tyler, but there's, uh, everybody says the closest place to get real booze it's here. So you see a bunch of those stores on 155. Now the elementary school, Janet has the information on that, so I'm gonna let her film that part, but we're not gonna be able to enter the school because... It's dangerous. It's dangerous, yes. Okay, y'all. November 23rd. About 9.30 a.m. 2014. Some of the neighbors saw smoke coming out of the middle of the building. And it started going up quickly. Quickly. And local uh, fire marshal, Jay Brooks, uh, it was a Sunday. A bunch of people were in church. You know how small towns have volunteer fire department. Everybody's jumping out of church trying to get help with the fire. Now, you said how, the people from Tyler, Big Sandy, you know, all of them all came out. 18 communities came out to try to help with the fire but because of the water pressure and the high winds it really they really had a difficult time and so where it started in the middle and it jumped to the next building you can see it's total de devastation absolutely but this was the Winona Elementary School and it was a big loss even before that. They uh, used to have family reunions here and community stuff out here. But now Brothers Manufacturing is right behind here, which was established in 1987 and they do like wire stuff for like dust mops and stuff like that which i don't think they're in operation now they are up in grant minnesota i think the main place but oh my goodness this is, look at all this growth that's in 2014. It's amazing how things can grow in the middle of nowhere out here in Texas. Right in the middle, 
there's trees and stuff. Look, there's a nice little pine tree in the middle of the burnt out building. But it's pretty cool. And somebody is taking care of the landscaping here, obviously. But they said it would take millions to do anything with this. Millions and millions of dollars. You're talking about the trees growing in the middle of the school. Nature has a way of reclaiming itself. Yeah, that's true. But here, I don't see any no trespassing signs, but it looks pretty dangerous. 1903 there was actually three schools here okay one for the whites and two for the blacks and really the population has stayed about the same from even from world war ii there's just like 650 people and only seven businesses but you know Cotton and corn were the main uh, things grown here. Way back, they did have a, a couple grocery stores, post office, you know. Um, I think they established that in 1887. And then the railroad came through during World War II, which brought people through because of Camp Fannin, but really the town actual population still stayed in the 600s. It's just they had transit people from the military. Here, I must walk over here. There's nothing dangerous in the grass, except for moles. You fall in the, the mole holes. Let's just take a look over the wall. Wow. Look at the steel. Looks like it's all mangled. Wow. It must have been super hot fire. Well, you know, that used to be a door. Wow. Somebody's been stacking up some bricks. Now they got the pretty brick on the outside and the red brick on the inside. Those are some thick walls. Let me see. Wow. Broken glass. Oh, look at these old doors. Wow. Okay. Oh, they got pictures. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, that had to be the gym. Yeah. Oh, gosh. You would think. This is cool. Look how big that tree is in there. It doesn't seem like that, that two, 2014 had caught fire and look at the growth. Now what is this all stacked up? Yeah. Cause this got Way tall ceiling. I know on my my little elementary school, the gym and the cafeteria was together. Way back, <laughs> way back, a long time ago. <laughs> now, when we drove by and saw this place yesterday. We just assumed this was the high school because it was such a small town, but it's actually an elementary school. Yeah. We'll swing by the high school. I've been to the high school once before. 
and I was amazed that a town of this size could have as nice a high school as they do. Yeah. So they must be bringing people from their kids from other surrounding towns to learn at that high school. Well, you know, yeah, this is a lot of farmland. A lot of kids are all spread out. So even out of city limits, they're still bringing kids to this high school. We're not allowed wildcats. Woo, look, look, look. We got little paws on the pavement. <laughs> Main office, gymnasium, agricultural building, band hall, softball field parking. Sign said some of the staff members are armed. Cool. Now it looks like the elementary school is now located, the new elementary school is now located here on this property also. And I, I came out here about a year maybe a year and a half ago because they had a car show here in the parking lot and I was expecting this to be a, a, a small high school. It's actually really large. Wow. For a town of 623 people, that is a big school. Yeah, this is the band hall, and it sits right next to the Agricultural Science Building. See the sign right here? It says FFA on it. In some of the rural towns in Texas, they have FFA, which is Future Farmers of America. And each student raises their own animal, livestock. And they do everything from castrating the animals to showing the animals at the state fair or county fair and auctioning them off. They got a greenhouse back there, huh? Mm -hmm. Is that a greenhouse or storage? Looks like a greenhouse. Track the field. Huh. The, the, the high jump. The high jump pit? Yeah, I guess a high jump. And then, what do you call that? Hurdles? Yeah, hurdles. This looks like, pretty much like my high school in girls' bed. Ticket prices for a Winona High School football game is $9 for adults and $5 for students and children. Wow. Right over here is the high school baseball field. Nice, huh? It's very nice for a small school like this or for a small town. Yeah. This is the new Winona Elementary School. It's on the same in the same complex as the middle school and high school. Looks like they're adding on more stuff. Yeah, yeah, they are. Because five more people moved to town. <laughs> there's the middle school. Yeah, there's the middle school right back behind the elementary school. Well, it's kind of cool. They have it all kind of separated. Big kids can't pick on the little kids too much. <laughs> you don't actually believe that, do you? That's going to happen every, anywhere you go. It's amazing. A, com a school complex that big, and here is the administration building for Winona Independent School District. Tiny little building. <laughs> kind of an overcast day today, so hopefully uh, you guys can see this okay. But this is the this is King's Road that we're on, heading back to the main part of Winona. You can see just beautiful farmland, ponds. That's almost a little 
lake. Lots of water around here. We got this Bean River, um, Big Sandy Creek, Cattle Lake is out here, Hawkins Lake. I mean, there's water all surrounding. Lake of the Pines. Yeah, all kinds. Lots of water, lots of fishing, lots of hunting. Okay, now we're coming into Winona proper. The main part of town here in Winona. And as you can see, the first real business you come to is a liquor and beer and wine store. This was the reason that Winona became known as Beer Town or Drunk Town. And you know what? We've been we've we've owned our property out in this area for a couple years now, and I've never seen a drunk person here in town. Me either. Right across the street here from us is the Texas Burger and Fish House and the Back Porch Restaurant, which Back Porch Restaurant has really good food. And then there's another beer store next to a smoke shop, next to another beer and wine store, next to another beer and wine store. Or liquor store, whatever. Yeah. Better watch out coming through here. Yeah, this Sp is a speed trap. And this is downtown Winona. Another thing that you'll see here in East Texas in these small towns is a lot of churches. There's a Methodist church here, there's a Baptist church right up the road here, and there's a good three or four churches along 155 here where we're driving. And I'm just amazed at how many churches there are in these small East Texas towns. I think there's like one church every 30 people it seems like. Now this building here Janet and I were interested in purchasing it I guess collapsed at one time the roof did or burned um, but this building I just think is really cool I think this place if it was if it had a roof on it would make a really nice coffee shop or donut shop and I'll show you a sign here that they have in front of this building kind of telling some of the history of the town of Winona and you can pause this you may have to enlarge it on your screen to see it but basically tells you the the history of the town it is in 2009 in May of in May 2009 a referendum to permit the sale of alcoholic beverages in Winona failed in a 19 in a 94 to 94 tie but after a revote on November 3rd 2009 all alcohol beverages became legal to sell in Winona by a 124 to 106 tally Winona is the first community in Smith County Texas since 1939 to package permit or to permit package store sales of beer wine and liquor the population reached 605 so that was in uh, 2009 and now they have a whopping 623 people here so like I said it is a small kind of sleepy East Texas town and from right here to Tyler is to the middle of Tyler is probably 22 23 miles so if you lived in Tyler in 2009 and you wanted a six-pack of beer or an alcoholic drink you would have to drive 23 miles to this town of Winona to get your fix. These little East Texas towns, every single one of them have so much character.
We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, hit the little bell for notifications. And until next time, have a great day, folks. Bye-bye. Strange RV tours will take you places With Greg and Janet's smiling faces You might see a crazy flavored soda review Or some tips to fix your RV too So come along, won't you join us, friend As we discover what's around the bend Just sit right back in your easy chair Strange RV Tours is on the air Strange RV Tours is on